Hello friends, welcome back to Technique and uh, this is Normal here and today we'll be doing a performance testing of three premium uh, powerful uh, mid-range devices. We have the iQ Neo 7 Pro, then we have the OnePlus uh, 11R and we also have the OnePlus Nord 3. So these are three devices uh, in the 30 to 40,000 price segment and which of them is the better performer uh, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So we'll be doing uh, the performance testing. We'll have the throttling test, uh, the stress test or uh, rather the wildlife extreme or stress test then geek bench test and also the anti to benchmark test uh, and also including the storage test to see which of these uh, devices is the best performer out there so that's the test we are going to do so before getting into the video if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so in the meantime we have also done the speed test comparison of these three devices so in case you're not watched it do check out our channel for more videos on these three devices so let's get started with the performance testing of these three devices so now we're going to start the performance testing of these three devices we have the iq neo 7 pro we have the second device the one plus not three and third one uh, the one plus 11 r so let's just go to the settings of uh, uh, these three devices and then we'll uh, show you uh, we'll start the test so first uh, let's see the about device on all the three devices so there you go you can see here all the three devices are running on android 13 and uh, you get the snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 uh, 3 gigahertz here we have the dimensity 9000 again snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 uh, 5000 milliamp per battery on all the devices here we have uh, 12 gigabyte ram these two devices are 16 gigs of ram so uh, these two are oxygen os uh, while this is fun touch os so that's the uh, software aspect of these uh, three devices and uh, the hardware so let's get started with uh, the performance testing so we have turned on the performance mode on all the three devices we have here we have the monster mode uh, on these two devices we have uh, the performance mode so we'll be doing all the testing in the performance mode so let's start with the first test uh, which is the cpu throttling test so let's uh, just uh, open uh, the cpu throttling app so there you go we have opened uh, the device so so you can see here we have set the same uh, 20 thread and uh, 15 minute uh, test uh, so we'll be using that as well on all the three devices so uh, we'll start uh, with uh, these three devices so let's start uh, the uh, throttle test so let's see how they perform in the throttling test So that was uh, the CPU throttling test and uh, uh, let's also check uh, the temperature. So this is 35 degrees and uh, here also it's 38 degrees uh, on the Nord 3 and uh, here uh, we let's uh, check once again. Here also you can see it's 38 degrees. Uh, let's check this once again. So uh, the iQ Neo 7 Pro is uh, uh, having the lesser heat uh, just 35 degrees so here both uh, we have uh, 38 degrees but if you look at the throttling uh, iq neo 7 uh, pro was throttled to 81 percentage of its max performance now nord 3 was 63 percentage of its max performance and you can here you can see this is surprising no cpu thermal throttling detected that's excellent performance from oneplus uh, 11 hour now this is with the performance mode but with regular mode you can see throttling on all the three devices but with peak performance you don't see any throttling on the 11 hour but uh, this is 81 percent it's still good the second place and uh, the nord 3 was uh, a bit terrible in terms of throttling it just went to 63 percentage so that was the throttling test of these two devices so here we would say the one plus 11 hour wins it so now let's uh, see the anti two benchmark score of all the three uh, devices and uh, see uh, which does uh, better here so there you go uh, now we have again uh, tested uh, all the three uh, devices with the monster mode or performance mode and you can see here 1 lakh 30 thousand or rather 13 lakh uh, uh, 7216 is iq neo 7 pro the first uh, and the second one is uh, the one plus 11 are at uh, 12 lakh 91 thousand almost close 
and uh, the third is uh, the oneplus nord 3 5g 949000 so here once again here the clear winner is the iq neo 7 pro now the storage test of uh, these three devices uh, we'll just uh, quickly check this so here we'll just test uh, all the three once again so all of the three devices have UFS uh, 3.1 storage support. Now the uh, IQ Neo 7 Pro is LPDDR5 RAM while the other two are LPDDR5X RAM. So OnePlus offers uh, LPDDR5X RAM. Now you can see that uh, the IQ Neo 7 Pro is once again the leader in terms of uh, the uh, the read write speed and the storage test 82,000 this is 68,000 and this is 74,000 so that was the antidote benchmark score of these two these three devices so the next uh, test is wildlife uh, extreme uh, test test uh, so we have uh, installed the app on all the three devices so let's start the wildlife extreme uh, stress test and see which has the better stability of all the three devices So now we have completed uh, the wildlife extreme stress test so we'll just uh, check the temperature 37.4 while uh, you can see here 43 degrees on uh, the nord 3 and uh, that's a higher temperature and even uh, the one plus 11 r it's quite uh, similar 43.2 uh, uh, almost close to 43 degrees so uh, the iq neo 7 pro has the best uh, thermal performance here it's much lower in terms of uh, the temperature uh, during the wildlife extreme uh, stress test now going by the score you can uh, see that uh, uh, 2476 was the highest score and uh, 1478 was the low score on iq neo 7 pro 59.7 percentage stability while the nord r3 had the best stability 67.2 and the one plus 11 war was uh, 62.3 so you can see here 2775 was the highest score uh, best loop score achieved and that was on the one plus level up. now you can also see the graph plotted for the performance range uh, of uh, these two devices now you can also see that battery and the temperature 33 to 37 degrees while uh, this uh, nord 3 was up to 46 degrees and uh, the one plus 11 r was uh, around 43 degrees that's the highest uh, temperature rise now battery you can see that uh, uh, you can also see that uh, from uh, 86 percentage uh, it went up to 80 percentage on the one plus uh, nord uh, i mean one not the one plus nord it's uh, iq neo 7 pro while the one plus nord it was 71 to 59 percentage almost double the ba battery lost you can see here uh, and on the one plus 11 hour also it was almost uh, 12 percentage so 12 percentage battery drain on the one plus devices while it was just six percentage battery drain on uh, the uh, the iq neo 7 pro so that was uh, the uh, testing you can see the frame rate and other aspects as well so except for the thermals uh, all the three devices performed equally well uh, with uh, the wildlife uh, stress test finally let's uh, go to the geekbench test so we will uh, open geekbench uh, on all the three uh, devices and then we'll test it so let's start the geekbench test on uh, the three devices So that was the Geekbench test and uh, here you can see that single core score is 1701 on both uh, the iQ Neo 7 Pro and the OnePlus 11R uh, and uh, the Nord 3 was slightly lower but if you look at the uh, the multi core value then uh, you can see that the Nord 3 did uh, better than the other two 4414 on the iQ Neo 7 Pro while uh, the lowest was the uh, OnePlus 11R. So again uh, not much of a difference here not a drastic difference just a smaller value difference. Uh, so all of these uh, devices did quite uh, well on um, uh, the, the Geekbench test and there is no clear winner here. So that was the Geekbench 6 performance test of these three devices. 
so that is a performance testing of these three devices and you can uh, clearly see that all of these devices are really good in terms of performance there is no clear winner but if you look at the stability and the overall performance probably the oneplus 11r was slightly above the iq neo 7 pro and third came the oneplus uh, nord 3 so uh, both uh, uh, the oneplus uh, 11r and the iq neo 7 pro has the snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 uh, chip and uh, the nord 3 is slightly on the lower side with the dimensity 9000 chip so all the three devices performed uh, really well but if uh, one uh, winner has to be chosen then that would be the one plus 11 r with uh, a bit more stable performance in the cpu throttling test so that was a performance testing of these three devices hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day